Hey everybody, it's your old pal Jim up here in beautiful Upper East Tennessee. Got my little dog Rose. Uh, it's Friday, so congratulations. We made it to the weekend. Hope you got the weekend off. I uh, hope you've had a good week. Lots of stuff to talk about, but I'm going to make this one quick because I'm tired. I worked great nights last night and I hadn't slept a whole lot, so... I got some things to do before I pick up my kids, so let's jump in. Uh, from everything that I've been reading, it looks like Iran's supposed to strike Israel at any moment in retaliation for the uh, Israeli attacks on the Iran consulate or embassy or whatever you want to call it in Damascus. But then I read something last night where they uh, got a warning from us and they sort of backed off on that plan. So we shall see. I still think they're going to do something in retaliation. So the Middle East is going crazy. I hadn't heard anything about those crazy, crazy ass Houthis uh, firing at ships in the Red Sea in a while. So I don't know if they're still doing it or if that sort of cooled off for a while. I did see where the Houthis said... Uh, they had 400,000 men ready to fight with Iran against Israel. So, crazy, crazy. Uh, then on Turkey, President Erdogan, Erdogan seems to be in some trouble politically. So, uh, he's pretty, as far as he goes, as that country goes, he's pretty moderate. So, uh, if they can get a hardliner in, it could be more bad news over in that area. Uh, they're still trying to get $60 billion to ship of your and my tax dollars to Ukraine, so who knows? Uh, the Republicans are getting ready to boot the Speaker of the House again because uh, he's going to reauthorize the FISA warrants, which I think is a crock of shit. It's just a Form. And they said it's not supposed to be used against American citizens here in America. Uh, I think Trump and Tucker Carlson would beg to differ with that. So we'll see. It's just uh, more bread and circuses. They're the Republicans. There's a few true Republicans up there. But most of them are part of the Uniparty. It's just a big show where they can act indignant like we're really doing something to help the american people when they're actually out doing the globalist pieces of craps bidding so this weekend uh i've got some birthday boy this weekend so we're gonna have a cake and open some presents and he's gonna get to pick where he wants to eat at and then we're gonna head to church sunday uh I was going to go over and work in the garden a little bit today, but I'm tired and it's still kind of cold and rainy here, so don't think I'm going to. Uh, I will after my shifts next week get over and take care of it, so hopefully get it mowed and weed eated, garden beds cleaned out, get more dirt to put in the garden. Uh, my straw bales do really good. My raised beds or hit and miss, so I think I'm going to mix the dirt up to re-put in the raised beds like I do on top of my straw bales, and that's a, a third peat moss, a third cow poop, and a third topsoil, so maybe see how that does. So prepping-wise, I'm going to go to the store and add some more canned goods, probably, and some more, I think I'm going to get some flour and try out my little doodad I got, the electric mason jar can sealer, so I'm going to try that out soon. So I hope you folks are getting ready. I hope you're adding a little bit of prepping stuff every time you go to the store. I hope you have a way to uh, get your water system straightened out. It'd be great if you had well water. Uh, I have water stored. I have cases of water. I have a tote, an IBC tote full of water. I have ways to purify my water. I have quite a bit of food stored up. So uh, 
let's see just keep adding to it when you first start prepping it's really overwhelming if you want to go out and buy everything all at once and unless you're well off you really can't do that so get the necessities and the basics took care of try to buy stuff that you know you'll eat and your kids will eat so just keep at it uh if you stack it a little bit at a time it'll really add up it doesn't happen overnight but if you're not if you're just starting you are a little bit behind so i would put the pedal to the metal and do as much as i could so i hope y'all have a great weekend and uh hope you get an opportunity to go to church this weekend if you have that opportunity take it because that's a overlook prep in my opinion is your spiritual preparedness so i'm gonna get off here i got some things to do some errands to do i hope y'all have a great weekend uh let's go brandon let's go balls hmm. uh, fjb all day every day don't be scared you better be getting prepared and let's close the dag on border i hadn't talked about the border in a while but it's a mess i saw where my orchestra was testifying and I'm not usually a violent man, but I like to punch him right in the nose. And uh, God bless America. Y'all stay safe. Have a great weekend.